Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking about some more new features that we have been able to find on the second beta of iOS 18. Now iOS 18 is packed with new features. We talked about a lot of new features and changes on the first video on beta 2 but now we have more than 20 other new features and changes that we have been able to find on the second beta of ios 18 and we're starting with the photos app we have a few new features here as you probably know the photos app is the app that got a lot of updates with ios 18 probably the most out of all the other apps on iOS 18. Now, first of all, if we move into the Photos app, here we have the recently deleted album, but as you can see, it won't try to recognize your face with Face ID when you click on the folder. That, of course, preventing the folder opening by accident but what it will do and the same goes for the hidden photos album as well it will show you this screen and only when you tap on view album then it will start scanning for your face now right here into the recently deleted album we have some other features as well first of all if you go to one of your pictures you will see that the delete and the recover button have been completely redesigned and they are much bigger and another feature that you will see right here is that we also have a filter for the photos on the recently deleted album so if i tap right here i can go ahead and filter those you can choose maybe your photos videos screenshots whatever you want to filter here so the same that you can do on other like regular albums you can also do on the recently deleted album but you will also have here the ability for the view options so you can change the view options and choose what you want to see here on the recently deleted album Another change on the photos app, if you have edited a photo and you want to copy the edits from that photo, you will have a new option. So if you have cropped a picture when trying to copy that picture, copy actually the edits from that picture, if I tap right here, you can see that it will show you this screen where you will have the option to copy the aspect ratio or not from this picture and of course paste it into the other pictures so if you do that and then paste it on other pictures of course it will actually crop that picture as well now when you go to your library of pictures what you will find here is a new option to filter your picture so you will have here filters if you go there you will have screenshots videos and all that but if you go to view options right here then you will have something else you can actually zoom out here you can choose whether you want to show the the screenshots or not but now we have a new option which lets you choose whether you want to see the sh the shared with you pictures or not on your photo library that can be simply enabled or disabled from here by clicking on this option Moving into the podcast app, now the podcast app has also gotten some updates. Now you will have chapters for podcasts. Of course, I believe podcasts, different podcasts have to actually support this feature or basically add chapters to their episodes. But as you can see right here, if I just scroll right like this, it will show me the different chapters of this podcast which is pretty cool now another thing is that you will also see them at the top right there so if i just tap that little arrow it will show me all the different chapters of course alongside with their titles and it shows you their length here as well so i can tap on any chapter i want here and just move directly to that chapter without having to scrub here that's something pretty cool that has been enabled on Safari with iOS 18 beta 2 is support for 120 frames per second. So if you have an iPhone, of course, which is a 13 Pro or newer, the Pro version, of course, they will now have the ability to play 120 frames per second on Safari. On the new passwords app that Apple has added with iOS 18, you will now find a plus button right there, which allows you to add a password for a new password actually directly from the home screen here of the password app. When taking a screenshot on your device on iOS 18 beta 2, you will notice that if you add a shape, like I can add one right here, you can also enable a stroke for that shape. So I can enable it here 
and also choose here with this new interface the thickness of that stroke which is actually very useful now something very very useful probably for a lot of people that apple has added on the second beta of ios 18 and of course ipad os 18 as well is the ability to format external drives so you can completely erase external drives that you have connected to your device so com just completely gone you can just erase anything without having to save anything into your iphone now this right here is a pretty cool feature you know that apple has added math notes with ios 18 is a pretty useful feature but what makes it even more useful is that you can actually do math with your keyboard anywhere you want so if i just add something like that you can see right here to will show me the results so i can tap on the seven there to add the result or i can just tap right here and it will complete that so it's actually very very useful so anywhere you can use the keyboard of your iphone you will be able to actually do math on the wallet app on ios 18 beta 2 you will have a new way to add a credit or debit card so if you go in the screen right here and tap debit or credit card and tap on continue continue right here you will have this interface which will let you just basically bring your card close to your iphone the chip of the card of course and it will allow you to add it just like that to your wallet now with ios 18 beta 2 apple has also enabled rcs for messages now this of course will be based on the carrier whether your carrier has enabled that or not but if you want to know if it is enabled for your device all you have to do on beta 2 is go to settings under the general settings go to about and then find your carrier right it will say carrier the carrier name or it will say some like this all you have to do is just tap here and if it supports rcs it will show it right there on the notification center on ios 18 beta 2 we also have a new animation here for no older notifications it just doesn't come from the bottom here it just will appear like a fade animation right there which i think is pretty cool and much much smoother than the older one moving on under the accessibility settings we have a few changes here now that we have the music haptics a new feature that apple has added to ios 18 now it has a new icon that has been updated with ios 18 beta 2 as well as the vocal shortcuts icon that also is new with beta 2 it has been updated from beta 1 and we also have a smaller update here as well under the autofill and password settings which you can find under the general section we have the new passwords app icon right here now this used to be here before but it featured the old password icon from the settings app and on the control center we have a few improvements here we have a new haptic feedback here when touching basically force touching on any of the toggles which is much better and improved from the last beta and then we also have a much improved search when you go to the toggles here want to add a toggle that has actually been improved and now it actually works as it should previously if you would just search for something like right here i'm trying to search for dark mode it would just show you a bunch of different results now it just shows you the exact thing you're looking for and now let's talk about battery and performance on ios 18 beta 2 well the battery has been okay given of course that it's a beta and still it's very new and a lot of new features are being added it's actually okay now here we have the usage for the last few days on beta 2 right here we have about 35 percent battery which is actually quite good here four hours 53 minutes then we have here about 65 percent battery again four hours 30 minutes then right here we have almost six hours on like 90 percent battery and then right here we have six hours 48 minutes with about 70 percent battery of course it's not the best ever but in my opinion it's okay for a second beta of a such a big update and then here we have the performance here we have the geekbench 6 score for ios 18 beta 2 which has dropped a bit compared to beta 1 but not like in a major way we have the single core score here at 2851 while the multi-core score is 7224 it's not the best score ever i got a better score with beta 1 but it's not that bad at all of course it should improve with the next betas not talking about the next betas you can expect ios 18 beta 3 to come out of course right here on the second week of july that should be the 8th 
or the 9th of July, the dates that Apple should release the third beta of iOS 18. Now, I expect Apple to also release the public beta during this week or maybe the week after. So if they release the third beta on the 8th, expect the 9th or the 10th to be the dates that Apple release the public beta. Or that should happen on the 15th or 16th of June if it doesn't happen the same week as the third beta. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that like button and of course, subscribe for more iOS 18 videos and I'll see you on the next one.